Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. I had a recent request from someone who wanted to do something of an index match type scenario, but wanted it instead of just selecting an item within a range, wanted it to add up several items with a range. So it requires a combination of some ifs and choose and match. So let's uh, take a few minutes and take a look at the solution. So here we go. Here's the situation. I have a list of categories, let's say they're household expenses, and we just populate this list as the expenses come in. And I have different years that ex these expenses occur. So I want to be able to enter into an area here, the category and the year, and have it tell me the sum of the items from that year that are associated with that expense. So the first thing I did was create two data validation lists, one of categories, and I use list list to create that, and another one of years, and I use this list to create that. And in cell J15 is where I enter the formula to give me the correct answer. So as I chose a different expense and a different year, it would total up the expenses that matched up in that category for that year's worth of data. So to do that, I use three different functions in Excel. The SUMIFS function, the CHOOSE function, and the MATCH function. So first, let's take a look at SUMIFS. If I do equals SUMIFS, it adds the cells specified by a given set of conditions or criteria. So if I hit tab here, it wants the SUM range, the criteria range, and the criteria. So in our case, the criteria range and the criteria are static. The criteria range is the categories in column A, so that's why I have A2 to A51 at the end here. And the criteria is what appears in cell I13. In this case, it shows entertainment. So the key to this is how to select the correct sum range. To accomplish this, I use the combination of the choose and match function. So let's take a look at each. If I type in equals choose, choose chooses a value or action to perform from a list of values based on an index number. So if I hit tab, it first wants the index number and then each of the items or values that it can reference based on that index number. So in this case, I'm going to use match to generate the index number and then each of the values are going to be each of the columns worth of data. So you can see here below in my choose function, match is the first argument, which is the index number, and then B2 to B51, C2 to C51, etc. Column B, C, D, E, and F are my five different values that will be summed up based on the SUMIFS function. So now let's take a look at the match function. Equals match returns a relative position of an item in an array. So the lookup value is going to be the year, and then the lookup array is going to be B1 to F1. So you can see in my match function here, J13 is the lookup value, that will give me the year. B1 to F1 indicates the lookup array, and then 0 just indicates an exact match type. So I've taken the match function to identify the index for the choose function. The choose function uses the match function for that index and then indicates the five different columns of values. And then once that is determined, sum ifs uses that as the range to sum. A2 to A51 is the criteria range. And then I13 is the criteria itself, which in this case shows entertainment. So let's just use the formula evaluator to walk through the current scenario of this formula. I hit escape, click on the cell where the formula is, go up to evaluate formula, and then let's walk through the evaluate formula process. So the first thing it's going to say is, in the match function, what is J13? I click on that, it tells me J13 is the year 2010. So now if I take match 2010 in B1 to F1 with a zero or exact match, that returns the number one of those five items. So now choose 
the number one item of the five different ranges, B2 to B51, column C, column D, E, or F. I hit evaluate, and it shows B2 to B51. So now that is the range to sum. A2 to A51 is the criteria range, and I13 is the criteria. So if I hit evaluate, I13 is entertainment. So my sum ifs function of the year 2010, the criteria range is the category range of column A, and entertainment, I hit evaluate, and I come up with $1,424. So I'll hit close, and now again, anytime I change a year or change a category, it's going to sum the items within that column. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.